Hello viewers, today we continue with moving pulsed system, but in this case it will be the John Christie and Ludwig Britz of a Unity Motor Generator, this one over here. But as you can see, it is very similar to the Robert Adams of a Unity Motor Generator. So not to waste time, let's get right immediately to the drawings. Okay, you can see this is a device. It's pretty simple if you ask me. It has only few components, it's, it's a quite normal DC motor if you ask me, yeah? Be with only three uh, primary windings, yeah? And, and this rotor with four permanent magnets. And if we compare it with the Robert Adams, which has two trigger coils and four secondary coils, output coils, this one has only three coils. And if, you, if I do show it in this way, you can see that the magnets are separated by 90 degrees. One, two, three, four, hello. And it has only three coils, which are separated by 120 degrees. And, and how, it's, how it's designed, yeah? So basically this red, uh, yellow part, which uh, over here in the middle, and this is the, okay, this is the housing. Uh, so, so you can see this uh, yellow and red part, are the brushes yeah so this is the standard connection how to bring the voltage or current into the coil so how so so to work so this to work we will uh, actually only energize one coil and this coil will spin the rotor yeah and in parallel with that we will uh, get on our secondary coils because from the back side you can see it, i put out the wires this is the output so basically uh, the same coil is used for input and output but we will energize only one coil and on the other two coils we will receive the output energy and this in circular motion this will actually happen uh, constantly yeah? so this in the middle these are the brushes how to transfer the energy to the coil and by the means like this the same like in the robert adam mo motor the back electromotive force created by when this magnet passes the coil yeah, will actually produce over unity or it will give coefficiency factor more than one so and that's it yeah? and that, that's how uh, we are able to get by the means of by the idea of the patent is to get more output energy than the input energy which is required to move one coil so the rotor can spin Okay, so I forgot to show a little bit x-ray, so transparent, that you see there are no hidden components inside of the rotor. It just, it's just the stator with four magnets, as you can see them, one, two, three, four. There are three coils and there is a brushes which brings the current onto the windings. And this is it, yeah? we have input power over here and we have the output power we get on the two other coils out on the back side. That's it. Okay, so as you saw, that was Ludwig Britz and John Christie of a Unity Motor Generator. Very simple design with only three coils and four magnets. And by the means of brushes and the back electromotive force, we should get the over Unity in the system. So basically on the secondary coils, we should get more output power than the power we invested to run an energized first coil. So this is it. Until next video, please stay tuned on my channel. Bye bye.